Welcome to the project demonstration of maximum power point tracking using fuzzy logic for the photovoltaic systems. So here we are going to develop the uh, fuzzy uh, maximum power point tracking uh, and also cut converter development by making use of this PIC 16 f 72 microcontroller. So this microcontroller will develop a fuzzy logic based on the solar uh, voltage inputs by measuring that through this voltage sensor and based on that we are going to controlling the voltage so as you know that MPP is nothing but maximum power point tracking and in order to maintain the maximum power we need to regulate the voltage why because so we are using 12 volt 5 watt solar panel so though it is a suitable old solar panel when we place this under the sunlight it will provide us maximum of 15 volts so then in order to maintain the 5 watts power equal then the current will be decreased so whenever we get the 12 volts and then we get the maximum current and so that it will get the maximum power so that's why we are going to use voltage sensor to measure the voltage from the solar panel and then based on that input voltage when it is above 12 or 12.5 then automatically the microcontroller will regulate the particular voltage so with the help of this MOSFET circuitry and after that the voltage will be given input as to the converter so as you know that the main purpose of the converter is it's advanced than the bug boost converter so it will do the both bug and boost operations uh, at a time and that will be done by our same microcontroller based on the input same voltage means whenever the voltage is above 12.5 we will making use of uh, like MPPT concept and whenever the voltage is below uh, 11 volts, uh, below 12 volts and above 8 volts then we need to boost up that voltage to be make sure of the sufficient voltage to charge this battery and for that purpose we are going to making use of this converter and these two transformers are act as a inductors as we needed two inductors for our converter so these two act as a inductors as this consists of uh, copper coils and coming to the battery ratings so here we are using 12 volt 3 amps battery so each battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp battery connected in series so these uh, three are connected in parallel so we will get 12 volt 3 amps and this is the main on off switch uh, which will allow the power to the this led load and next so the input power flow is we can charge this battery either from the solar panel and whenever the sunlight is not available then we can recharge this battery by using this transformer so the time uh, to be fully charged for the battery is it will take around of 12 hours maximum so here we are providing the 230 volts inputs and next so the 230 volts will be input will be converted to the 12 volts AC 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and after this charging circuit so we will get 12 volts pulsating DC after this uh, bridge rectifier of 4 diodes and after this capacitor we will get pure DC of which is sufficient to charge our battery and there are the two diodes which will allow the uh, current from transformer to the battery and it will block the current from the battery to the transformer in order to protect that whenever it is uh, become the high potential and our main block diagram of our project is so this one is a solar panel solar panel and inputs will be given to this converter and parallelly to the MPPT circuitry so here the MPPT circuitry is including the voltage sensor this is the voltage sensor and MOSFET and microcontroller so these three are included as the MPPT circuits and coming to the cut converter so that's included microcontroller and cut converter along with these two transformers are act as a inductors and next this one is a charging circuit from the solar from the 230 volts input and this one is a charging circuit from the solar panel so let us see the demonstration so if you want to run the cut converter as well as uh, MPPT concept just we need to connect this on okay at this shown slot right then this one is the light on off indication after that it will start blinking for every two to three seconds means it's reading the data from the solar panel so we have connected the solar panel so it's reading the data and based on that input from the solar panel it's going to control the two things one is a cut converter and as well as mppt using the mosfet the mosfet ratings are irf z44 we are using that and next for load utilization just we can on this switch to utilize the so-called charged voltage inside this battery to the DC load.